Welcome to the shop. This month on Diorama Building with Scale Model Craft, I show you the installation of LEDs in three accent pieces for the Battle of Narvik World War II diorama. The scratch built searchlight, Panzer I interior, the burn barrel, and I add some smoke, and finally the Arduino to control them all.
actually doesn't look too bad. I like how it reflects off the fiber. Okay, so we're going to take that out of there and see what cotton looks like. So this is the thing that I made. So this is supposed to, this is acrylic. It's colored. I, I painted over it like an orangish, and, and I like the color that it emits. Maybe if I put some wisps on this and then this in there, that might be my kind of what I'm looking to get out of this. I'm trying to kind of stuff it in here and then pull it out so that this is coming off of the, the fire and the wood. I don't know working but it, it kind of looks cool I kind of like it I like the smoke in there when you look down in it I do like that I got like a lump like a clumped up bit made a mess um, I'm literally thinking of just dunking or painting the part that I made this part here um, just painting that with CA glue and just like going straight into a wad of this and letting it kind of set up and then pull it away. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a big deal, but I don't think this looks, it's not like it's all that anyway. So yeah, that might be what we do. Set up, set up, set up. Okay, that's pretty much what I was thinking. I don't want to pull too much off till I get it in the barrels. I think that's where I'm going to stay. I do want to do some more to the barrel. There needs to be a little bit more like little holes and stuff drilled in here and some more dust and things like that. But I think this will call fire. Might put a little bit more glue on there just to make sure it's very secure at the base down here. This is the Arduino Pro Micro. This is the one that I'm using for all the stuff that I'm building. So now you're saying, okay, fine for you, but what can I do with Arduino? Well, think of it like this. You're standing inside your house and you've got this one switch that controls all the lights in your house. And, and as a matter of fact, it controls everything electrical in your house. Well, now think of that one light switch as the Arduino. So this, is the, the same thing and um, just because of orientation I wanted th this point right here uh, accessible uh, it's it's upside down you know so right there now your your printing is is right side up on the Arduino but I placed it like this so that I can have access because what we do with that little uh, mini USB port 
is that's the programming point. So that's our access point to go ahead and drop a, a program into this. By uploading it into here, here's our little processor, um, and then having it output to those same three pins that I showed you here, three, six, and nine. What I've done is I've soldered those all the way through to this board, and because the, the traces on the board are connected, so anything I solder here, that's also the connection. So pin three goes to this plug right here, pin six goes to this plug right here, and then pin nine goes to this plug right here. On the back side of this, I've got a jumper so that this ground right here goes all the way over here, so that's all negative. So it's all ground. I do need to come up with a way of tying these down. I don't want these moving around a lot, and they typically won't uh, once the, the, the cover's placed over it, but I want to kind of secure those so I'm not stressing those contact points. This is the editor that you use to make programs for the Arduino. At the top is the setup where you set the parameters of your program, and this is the loop where you tell it what to do with those parameters in the main program. This is the code that my cousin Joe created, uh, and, and the actual code that I'm running uh, for our little diorama right now. Now just like the example I showed you, here's that setup. This is the whole area, so the setup, so there's not a heck of a lot there. That's where we're defining those uh, parameters of what will become the program. And then down here right below that is our main program, the loop, just like we saw in the editor. Um, so we have those two elements. Now that third element that it, it really needs is up here. And this is like definitions. And you're defining all of the different elements that you're going to be using in the setup and the program. So all of this right here, this is also a part of it. It doesn't have to be because there's there's key things that you can pull from the Arduino software and do it that way, but this allows you to do customizations like I did. A searchlight and I'm gonna make that 200. And I'm going to upload this. I'm going to select upload. Down here at the bottom, it says it's compiling the sketch. It's or it's uploading the sketch as its program. And now, if you see this, it's quite a bit brighter. So now I'm going to uh, take this down again to its original intensity by selecting delete. When I select this. That's where it starts the process. It shuts down the board, it does basically a reboot, and then the new settings come into play. Now over there, um, I've got a lower intensity on that light. If you have any interest in the Arduino or, or you know programming your lighting or something like that, please go take a look at it. I'm not sponsored, but uh, I just really enjoyed it and, and I hope you do too. That's it for this week. This is Cognac.